friends, welcome back to Pink's Kitchen. Today, let's check out how to make nice and fluffy puri and aloo masala. Puri and aloo masala is one of the best combinations I always love to have for breakfast. Nice fluffy puri with a hot bowl of aloo masala is definitely a delight. There are a few tips and tricks to get nice and fluffy puri. I'll be mentioning them as we proceed with the recipe. You need to follow these small things to get the best out of it. So don't miss anything. Watch the entire video. Before getting started with the recipe, let's quickly check out the ingredients. To a mixing bowl, I've taken 2 cups of atta or wheat flour. You can go with any brand of your choice. To this, add 1 tablespoon of suji. Adding suji will make your puri crispy and helps to last the fluffiness. Then add half teaspoon of salt and 1 tablespoon of oil. This is regular cooking oil. Give all the ingredients a very nice mix. Make sure the oil is well spread. After mixing, your ingredients should look something like breadcrumbs. Now we have it right. So go ahead and add a little water at a time and start to knead. Puri dough is going to look something similar to our chapati dough. So add water accordingly and knead well. Now we have a very smooth dough. Let this rest for 20 minutes. While a puri dough is resting, let's make the aloo masala. For making the aloo masala, I've taken two fresh and new potatoes. We need to boil them. But before that, let me tell you a trick to peel the potatoes easily. Make a cut in the skin and run the knife through till you reach the start. Don't make it too deep. Heat sufficient amount of water in a pressure cooker and add the potatoes. Close the lid and let this cook for 3 whistles. Allow the pressure to settle on its own and then open. The potatoes are nicely done. Remove the potatoes using a tong and allow it to cool completely. Then give it a slight pressure and pull out the skin. The potato is going to easily pop out. Very helpful hack. You need not mess your hands or your work area with the potato skin all around. Likewise, peel both the potatoes and cut them into small cubes and keep it ready in a mixing bowl. Mash it using a fork. I suggest not to use a masher because we don't want the potatoes to be mashed completely. A few chunks here and there will be good to taste. So mash it accordingly. Now it's perfectly done. Once you're ready with this, we can move on to making the aloo masala. Heat a pan and add a tablespoon of oil to it. When the oil is nice and hot, add half teaspoon of cumin. Allow the cumin seeds to flutter. When they are done, go ahead and add two green chilies chopped. You can alter the count according to your spice levels. Then add one onion very finely chopped. Saute until the onion turns transparent. Don't overcook the onions. We need to retain the crunchiness of the onions. You can also add few chopped ginger if you like the taste of ginger along with the onions. The onions are nicely done now, so go ahead and add half teaspoon of salt. Quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder. And half teaspoon of chili powder. Now 
Mix well until the raw flavor of the spices goes off. Now the spices are nicely done and it's very aromatic. So it's now time to add the mashed potatoes and mix it well. Let the potatoes roast for 1 or 2 minutes in low flame. Only then the potatoes are going to absorb all the flavors of the spices. Now it's perfectly ready. So go ahead and add 2 cups of water and allow it to come to a boil. Now it's nicely boiling. The final consistency is totally optional. I like it a little semi gravy so I'm going to thicken it a little. If you prefer it to be more of a gravy then it's right time to off the flame. Also if you like nice thick mashed potatoes kind of masala give it an extra minute and you should be good enough. When you have the perfect consistency off the flame and sprinkle some chopped coriander leaves. Now a delicious aloo masala is ready. Very aromatic. The flavors of the green chilies, onion and the spices have come together very well. It's been 20 minutes and the puri dough is ready now. So pull out a small portion and make a smooth ball out of it. I again repeat make a very smooth ball. Make sure no cracks are there. If so while frying the puri will absorb a lot of oil. So do keep a check on it. Now we have a perfect smooth ball. Drizzle few drops of oil on your rolling boat. Spread it evenly and place a smooth ball on it and spread it like this. A point to be noted here is don't ever drizzle atta while spreading. It will dry your dough and also your frying oil will become messy after you fry your very fast puri. Another point to be noted is the thickness of the puri. Don't make it too thick nor too thin. It should be just right like this. After rolling the puris, let's now go and fry them. Here's sufficient amount of oil in an iron pot. Always prefer iron pot while making puris as the heat will be evenly spread and maintained. When the oil is nice and hot, drop in one puri at a time and fry in high flame. Keep the flame in high throughout the process. Keep pressing the puri inside the oil to make sure it's nicely puffed up. Once they puff, flip to the other side and let this again fry for a few more seconds. When both sides are nice and golden brown, remove. Likewise, fry all the puris one by one and enjoy with your family and friends. Very delicious and delightful breakfast recipe. Puri and aloo masala is always a very special treat for the guest or for any special occasion. So do try this puri recipe and aloo masala recipe at your home and write back to me a feedback. I'll meet you all with another interesting recipe. Until then, bye friends.
If you wish to check out our recipes in Tamil, do visit our Pink's Kitchen Tamil channel. Do subscribe to our Pink's Kitchen channel and click on the bell icon for latest updates. Happy cooking and thanks for watching this video.